Hello, and welcome to the video, Play Your Second Right Hand Piece. I'm going to introduce something a little bit different in this one, which is what we call 3-4 time. So far, we've played a tune in 4-4 four, four time, where we have four beats in a bar, which means four beats repeating over and over again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we're, with Ode to Joy, it was ta, 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 ta. And you can hear that uh, sense of four in the music. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. With this piece, we're going to have three beats in a bar. So it's three beats repeating over and over again. One, two, three. One, two, three. To clap a rhythm like that, it would be ta, a, a. Ta, a, a. So we're going to do a little bit of work on the board afterwards. First of all, I'd like us to get right into playing the tune. So get ready with your keyboard and you can follow my fingers now. So remember, we need to find the two black keys, and with our right hand, finger number one, our thumb, will go onto C there, middle C. C, 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 go. And then D, 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 go. E, 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 go. F, 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 go. G, 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 go. Okay, so I hope you're playing this like an echo uh, back to me. So let's go one, two, three, go. Three, four, five, go. Five, four, three, go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. C, D, E, go. C, D, E, D, C, go. D, E, F, go. F, E, D, go. G, 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 go. G, F, E, D, C, go. Great. Now I'm going to lead you into the tune we're going to play, which is called the Cuckoo. Uh, and it goes like this. Okay, so you may have heard that before and you may not have done, but uh, anyway, you've heard it now. So um, after me, we go five, three, five, three, two, one, two, one, Great, I'm going to do the same thing, but using the uh, note names this time. So G, E, G, E, D, C, D, C, G, E, G, E, D, C, D, C, D, D, E, F, D, E, E, F, G, E, G, E, G, E, D, C, D, C. Great, well done. Now, you may be looking at the PDF already. Uh, you may have printed it out or you may be looking at it on screen. If not, then hopefully you will be doing soon. Uh, and you can see there are a few little differences on here. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, uh, this is in 3-4 time, this piece. Uh, and we did a bit of clapping, ta a a Now, to make that note, ta a a it's one of these that we call a dotted minim, or a dotted half note. So, 
whereas a half note or a minim without a dot is just two beats and ta ah if we clap it if there's a dot after the note then that dot makes it half as long again so half of two is one you add that on and we've got three right so two three with the dot that's a three beat note a dotted minim or a dotted half note and we clap ta a a one two three great um so very often you will see this time signature in music three four meaning three quarter notes or three crotchets in every bar so one of those one two three will fill up a whole bar so after one of those you will see a bar line so one two three i'll just write the beats in here one two three with this piece the cuckoo the rhythm will be this ta a ta ta a ta 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 and then ta a a i know i'm running out of room here but that's fine as long as you've got an idea and a starting point then you can look at the pdf and follow the tune clearly but here it's ta a ta ta a ta 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 okay hopefully that's nice and clear and you can clap that you know go back over the video um, so that you understand exactly what a dotted minim or a dotted half note is and how three four time works uh, and get that sense of one two three remember beat one is a little bit stronger so one two three one two three very often um, not not always in every piece of music you're not always going to hammer out beat one you know that doesn't always work like that but overall there's a sense that beat one is the stronger beat one two three one two three I hope that makes some kind of sense to you and uh, you, you'll enjoy um, going over this video using the PDF uh, and really learning this piece uh, nice and clearly, ready to move on to the next video. I'll see you in the next one. All the best.